adults. If you can conceptualize what Recess for Adults looks like, that's what Mishmash is. Work together to complete the challenges that are hidden behind every door. YBI 15, get 15% off. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to YBI, where we discuss opinions and strategies on how to better your financial selves. As you can see, I'm in a different location here in the crib. I uh, just wanted to switch it up just a little bit. Uh, Roman, how you doing, my guy? It's been a while. Doing, doing good. A uh, little tired, but good. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, I feel times. that. Yes, sir. Holiday times are uh, they're interesting. These are interesting times that we're in in general. But uh, holiday time is uh, is no different, no different than any other year. It's still crazy, super hectic, and all of that, which is why I didn't want to stay at my office all night and uh, and record. But we are here to uh, to talk to you guys about saving strategies and give a little bit of a stimulus update um, for what is actually going on. Um, I personally feel like uh, we got finessed a little bit, and okay. you know we got pump faked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We got whoop, well, okay, um, okay. with that stimulus show. So give me an update, man. What were yeah, we looking I like? mean, like, uh, you know, you know, the initial $900 bill for, for COVID-19 relief was thrown in with the already planned for the government's budget for the year. Um, I think that's one reason why I was so conservative of where it was. They were throwing in $900 billion on top of the trillions that they were already spending for the normal government spending. Um, so with that, you know, they were talking about the PPP loans again for businesses and gig workers and self-employed. Um, Six hundred dollars direct stimulus payments if you were making seventy-five grand or um, under. I don't want to say or over less. or less. Yeah. Um, and three hundred dollars a week added to unemployment. Now, of course, that is nowhere near the twelve hundred and the extra six hundred we got at the beginning. Um, but you know, we've been waiting for Congress for the last what seven, eight months now to get a hold of these things and get it going. Now, with that, um, Joe Biden already said, our president-elect already said that he was going to try to do another stimulus bill once he got in office. Honestly, I think that's where the pump fake came from. You know, Biden was going up to take that shot with it, and Trump was like, nah, I'm going to see if I can get a bigger one in there just to make himself look better yes, going sir. out. Got to so, be quicker than that, bro. Got to be quicker than that. So with that, I'm not – no one can really know is politics. It's, it's Washington and how that goes. As we see right now, the Democrats do stand behind the two thousand dollars direct payments, and by all means, I think everyone could be like, "Yeah, I'll take, I'll take two thousand over six hundred if if you're gonna offer it, I'll take Absolutely. it." You know, so it, it's really up in the air at this point on what's gonna happen. Because Trump might veto it if it does get to him, even if they the full Congress does pass it. So it's gonna be interesting. But uh, going in from that is really why we want to go. Well, we already had savings planned to talk about with you guys for the next year, but really especially with next stimulus coming soon is what to do with that next more and more now americans are faced with no savings or behind on rent and or or anything just behind on bills in general and how to prepare so you don't have to worry about that or at least have a cushion to fall back on when times like that do happen because life happens things go on hell i live sorry say, but you know i live in chicago and my girl's Kelly Cabrera got stolen out of her car last night. And now I've got to deal with that. Think, things happen and you have to just prepare. And if you don't have saving things prepared up, then you fall behind on other things. So we're, we're going to talk to you guys about that and get that going. But as we see, I'm going to say this again as well. We cannot depend on the government. You cannot always yeah. do that. You got to, you got to, you got to. I think off. that our viewers, our viewers really know that though. You know, when it came down to even looking at, um, at the, the giveaway that we just had, the contest where they had, we had hundreds of voters that came in and voted for the best way to save money during the holiday season was to save early and then to, to pretty much sale shop, Black Friday shop was what they, was what they voted for. But it seems like the viewers actually do know and acknowledge the fact that there's a necessity to start saving early. And then, you know, you have to be prepared. Um, I think that's what we've been preaching since day one, that there's a necessity to prepare early. So I think that's what we really wanted to do was help solidify that. And then, you know, grow from there, especially in, in this season. But seeing, I don't know, at least what I've seen from other people, I don't know, maybe just people just want it, or maybe they just feel like looking at other countries and how much they have done as far as just, 
economic stimulus to them. They feel like America just done the latter or hasn't done really anything for us. So I don't know. I, I know people shouldn't really expect it, but I feel like people do feel like in this in, with a pandemic going on that the government should have done more. But I don't ever want to feel like I have to feel like a bigger entity needs to be the thing that comes in and saves me from things going on in life. Yeah, because I mean, as you see, it was it was yeah, you know, we're gonna get this 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 next stimulus, you know, a couple a couple months after, and then it was you know, yeah, well, it's gonna be a couple weeks after, you know, and it's you know five six seven months, months. later, and we're still months. we're still waiting, you know what I mean? So it it's not that I, I assume that something will come eventually, but there is no set date on when that will be, how much it will be, so you can't bank off of that. And then you have to just, you have to be prepared for it to not come. You have to prepare as if it's never going to come. And then when it does, it's just like, you got some extra money, you can do extra things, you can put more into savings, investments, et cetera. But for the most part, I'm thinking that ain't, that ain't money that's gonna come. You know what I'm saying? Because we did get pump faked. So I was like, if it hits my direct deposit, I'll believe it. But if it doesn't, I'm still gonna be okay regardless. So that's kind of where, that's kind of where I feel like people gotta live right now and especially because we don't know when it's going to come or it, it's going to come it probably will but you know, so you know. i guess the thing from that is like how, how do you how do you get to that point and that starts off what we talked about is you know looking at your income looking at your income statement your budget your savings and figure out how to go around that if you all have not already even looked at personal capital or men or just wrote it out yourself from your bank account each month just do it, do it one time and it'll open up your eyes and then you'll be like, okay, I'm, I'm spending too much on these factors or I'm not making enough to really live. It, it's completely understandable to be like, you know, my, my expenses are fixed. You know, this is what my rent is, my car payment. This is how much it costs to feed my stuff each month. Those, those costs are kind of fixed. So, you know, if you only make it 2,500 and it costs you 3,000 and, but that's your necessities, you need to make a little bit more money with a side gig or going back and get a better education, some way to raise that income. But once you can start doing exactly. that, you got, you got to pay yourself first. You got to start savings. Uh, so Zion, what, what's yes. uh, one of your top ways you like to save? What's, what's the savings challenge you got for the people? Well, I think that a savings challenge is really simple um, for, for people that are newer and, you know, don't really have a savings and want to get into it is to do the 52 week money challenge in reverse. So a lot of them start with $1 the first week and then by the week 52, they get up to $52. Um, I say do it in reverse, start strong. So put $52 in there the first week and then the second week put in $51 and then $50. So week by week, you're actually decreasing how much you actually have to put in there, but you're seeing a much faster snowball um, as we talked about in our previous savings episode. Um, you're, you're seeing a much bigger snowball um, from there. I was going mention that because you know you last time when we kind of talked about this you were very much for like the avalanche style of you know talking mm -hmm. big and small and i was like well go with the snowball and start small and go big so Sa I savings savings versus how you're going to pay things that's where that's where i differentiate so it was like for me i want to save more so i can see more and I want to pay, I want to keep more cash on hand at the end of the day. So if I can have more cash by saving more and then by, you know, paying, you know, the smaller things into and then leading up to the bigger things, I have more cash on hand. So that's kind of where my brain operates. I like that. I, I, I'm, I'm still, I'm arguing with you. I'm, I like the other way just for the, Let's do it. Not, not, just, just for the uh, idea of you see, you kind of, you get motivated, you know, it's momentum. You start off with a little bit mm -hmm. and each week you get bigger and bigger and bigger and it grows. So not that I said that I actually like both ways, but it's just, I feel like, you know, I, I challenge the viewers. I want at least, you know, some people to do one way, some people to do another and just see when we do a poll by the end of next year and say, which one's better or something like that. But uh, we might have to, because I feel like it, there's an, it, it's really person based. It's going to yeah. be person by person. And it's going to say, you know, this works for me or this doesn't work for me do you need to see instant results are you somebody that can wait you know um a lot of people need to see the instant results and i feel like that's okay you know we live in an instant gratification kind of society so it makes perfect sense that you would want to see the results right now you would want to see your money from week one go from fifty dollars to a hundred and two dollars and then from there it goes to a hundred and fifty dollars so you see that that instant impact you know, over, you know, a couple of weeks, yeah. you see that right then and there. Um, at the end of the day, you still make what $1,378 is what you're going to end up saving yeah. by the end of that year. So, you know, 
you're going to make the same amount. You're going to save the same amount. Um, and I think that that's just a very simple way to just get it going, to just start, start strong because people start off the year, you know, with their resolutions. Yeah. So now is the time to do it. If you're going to do it, you know, people start going, you know, I work at a gym. So you see a, a really high attendance rate at the beginning of the year and then everybody drops off. So start strong. And then once you see it going, all you got to do is continue it. And it's actually getting less and less and less. So now it's going to be easier, more and more easier for you to contribute to that. So I think that, that way is just, it's really simple. Um, and if you get paid, don't make an excuse like, well, I get paid bi-weekly, so I can't give myself X amount of dollars per week. Well, shut up. Figure you can it out. Do it. Um, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you can you definitely can figure it out. Your so, means and you're not throwing up throwing up throwing out your entire check on whatever you, you can definitely do it um most jobs pay you bi-weekly um i do the 52 money 52 week money challenge every year and able to do it and there's no way possible that you know yeah. no one can do it. you can do it i believe in you yeah. um i think that it's it's just you have to budget how much you're supposed to take out for those two weeks from your check so if week one is 52 and then week two is 51 you add those two numbers together and that's how much you subtract from your bi-weekly check to just make sure that you're going to be on pace to get there by the end of the year. That kind of goes into where what my challenge is to automatically, most people have direct deposit. So, and most times you can go in there and change what percentage of your direct deposit goes where. My savings challenge is to go in there and change it to 20% goes to a savings account. Mm -hmm. Most times, even if you're making, you know, if your gross check every two weeks is a thousand dollars, let's say, so it's thousand dollars a week. Tim was, was, 20% of that will end up being, let's see what, $200? Math. $200. What? <laughs> I mean, $200, right? Yeah. There. 20%. So right then and there, during the money challenge, that's like a month of the savings. Right then and there, and you instantly do it. And that's mm -hmm. paying, it's, it's a much more aggressive way, especially once you already got, especially 20%, when you already got your emergency fund there and everything else like that, that's paying yourself first, and you can live off that 80 and that 20% grows and grows, and you can start investing 20, that 20% somewhere else and then doing something else, that pushes it. And you'll never even, you probably won't even see it because you look at your checking account yeah. and think that's your paycheck. Then you check your savings account maybe once a month. And you're like, oh, like only, only check, maybe even only check right. your savings account once a month when you especially with a strategy yeah. like that. That way you don't get tempted to touch it. Speaking of checking your savings account, you know, in understanding we're going to be at the top of the year, now is the perfect time for you to check what you've been doing over the past year. Um, I bank with PNC and they have a phenomenal tool that allows you to see where you spent your money over the last year. Um, you can do this month to month, but now again, people are doing different things for, you know, the top of the year and everything is going to be new. So utilize that, utilize those tools so you can actually see where your money was spent, how much you made per month, which months were the best for you, which months were the worst for you. So you can really just track, you know, I'm a very visual person. So I need to be able to see, oh, I spent $1,400 a month on food shaking my head how did that happen you know like you know you really get to see how much because it it automatically will take stuff like gas it'll take your utilities it'll take your your car payment it'll take your um your credit cards all of those different things and it'll say you spent this much on credit cards you spent this much for this and you spent this much for that so now being able to see those things um especially at the end of the year now you can see 12 months of where you've been and then you know if you're fortunate enough to look the year before that you can see the trends um notice those trends and see where you can change things notice where you can uh take a little bit more money away and start putting that into savings and notice where you can say i've spent way too much money on food you know, people are like, oh, yeah, I don't spend that much on food. And then you go back in the last year and you realize that you spent $15,000 just on Grubhub, you know. So uh, definitely another thing that you can do, um, it would be essential for me, uh, especially going into the new year, trying to figure out exactly what I want to uh, what I want to accomplish in the next year. Vision board. What do you want to do? Yeah. Let's get some fat stacks. Um, so we got one more for the I got one more. One more challenge. Okay. This was a little so, bit more difficult. Go ahead. I got a, I got one that's more difficult too. Um, and I'm I'm reading just to make sure I don't get this right. Wrong. 365 day nickel savings challenge. Yes. Actually that was we didn't I promise we we didn't we just picked our own challenges. That was the same one I was gonna do actually. Really? The exact really? same one. 
a nickel a day. A nickel a day. That's keeps it. Keeps the keeps the you savings know? away. I don't know. Keep the savings put up. I don't know. <laughs> no. The, keep the keeps savings. The put savings up. here. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we see those commercials that are like, you know, for ten cents a day you can sponsor a child. For five cents a day you can sponsor yourself. Ooh, <laughs> quote me on that. <laughs> quote me on that. <laughs> um, five cents a day. You know. Five um, cents a day you can sponsor yourself. And then you know, so it starts with five cents um, on day one. Day two, ten cents. Day three, fifteen cents, etc. Um, so by the last day, you end up at eighteen dollars and forty cents. That is what you're going to be, you know, investing in yourself. Um, the total at the end of that year, $3,300 for a nickel a day investment in yourself. I mean, and you're thinking that, you know, over a week's time, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're spending 30 cents in your first week, you know? So it's, and then in your second week, it's 60 cents, you know, you get, but at the end of the day, at the end of the entire year, you get up to $18. So it's not like you're spending the $50, you know, per pay period or whatever, $18 is what you're going to, is what you're going to max out at. So I think that's another really good way to say, I mean, I five think, cents is no, no, so no. nominal. $18 for like the month or the hmm? week. I'm pretty sure. No, no, no. Is it $18 for the week or a month? I, it, it does it by the, um, you keep adding on that five cents. Even when you get through like the first month, you add, you keep adding a nickel even yeah. on top of that. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. It says basically you add a nickel to every day. Then by the last day, you'll be depositing eighteen dollars and forty cents. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, that's what that's what the thing says. Cool. I was just I, I got was my... just doing the math in my head. You know? <laughs> that was fine. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. I feel I'm you. getting clarification for the people. Hey, we no, we'll link this. In, we'll link this in the description below so you guys can read up on it yourselves because I haven't done this one. Um, it seems simple enough. I'm gonna, you know, it. I'm gonna do it um, this year. You can, you can find five cents on the ground you know if you walk around long enough go to a store five cents right there you, you know even really buy, simple even, and during your day like if you're like i don't need to buy this coffee today when i got a keurig in the kitchen i don't need to buy this bag of chips when i already it, it's, it's so many like little things during the day that you could save a nickel or 25 cents and it doesn't take that much to do it and i know a lot of people feel real good sometimes when they go to the store and look at the bottom of their receipt and it says, you know, save this much, go ahead, throw that savings right into, you know, right to the air. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll throw in one more. Um, and this is one that I know people close to me have done. I did it myself. Use cash. In COVID world, this is a terrible idea. So maybe I'll save that one. <laughs> yeah. As we go to a, well, okay. Okay. And that, to kind of come off our last one, I know there's a there's a lot of banks. There's also Acorns and Stash. There's a couple companies who will round up your change and automatically do it for you and invest it or save it. If your bank does do that right to a savings account, I almost will say do that. That's a great one yeah. to do it. Um, I think we did a review on Acorns. If everyone knows how I feel about it, I'm not too keen on Acorns as a whole because I feel like I want to pick exactly where my money is going as far as investments. Um, but it is a great, they have a, there's a good, people got it from them. You know, that, that, that taking right from rounding up your spare change to invest and save. So it is a good way to get started. So if, even if that's what's how you do it to get started, by all means, if it gets you saving, I'm all for it. Um, and yeah. round up your spare yeah. change. It, it's, it's right then and there. And that way you don't have to use cash. You just do, you, you spend a dollar 50, 50 cents go right into your savings account. I'm going to give the people mine anyway. That's Every cool. when I use cash, when I use cash, because there are people, there are still people that are very cash conscientious. Um, spending cash sucks. If you've ever just walked around with wads of cash and you have to use that money for things, it's the worst. When you swipe your card, it's like, ah, right, you know, this is fine. But when that cash leaves your hand, it is, it sucks. It kind of hurts. It kind of hurts a little. It bit does. More. It hurts you a lot. It's like those, those are your babies you know, and you like giving them away. You take, you take, um, you know, however much you're going to spend, you budget that. So let's say that, you know, I'm only going to spend $250 until the next time I get paid. So I would pull that out in cash and I would use the cash everywhere that I go. But in addition to that, every $5 bill that I get goes into savings. That's the way that I challenge myself. So if somebody happens to just pay me back in all fives, I won't have any more money. 
Um, but if you know you get a 50 and you get a 10 and then you get, you know, a couple singles here and there. Um, but it's the five dollar savings challenge. So, you know, use cash as much as possible. And then when you get the fives back, you take those and you put those into savings. Um, so it's it's kind of chance. It's it's kind of mm-hmm. chancing, you know, you, you're using the money, but then it's chance of, hey, I don't have control over how much is actually going into my savings this week versus next week. Um, and I think that, you know, it allows people sometimes to get $50 into savings at one time. Um, and then the next week they may only have a one $5 bill. Um, again, you have to be conscientious of what's going on in the world right now when a lot of people are saying, hey, use cards instead of cash. Um, but once all of this clears up, uh, I'll probably revert back to that. I'll probably revert back to that because it was really easy to just get $5 bills and have a stack of fives, you know, and then go on vacation with your fives. And, you know, you you save for that. You have a, a specific amount that you're like, you know, all of this is going to go into savings, but 25% of that I'm actually going to use for vacation, whatever it is. And now you actually have that cash in hand rather than having to transfer from a check-ins to savings, blah, 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 all those things. So that's just another one, but I'm done. I'm done with savings challenges. <laughs> all right, guys, we're, 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 we're pushing you, we're motivating, we're challenging you. To, for this yes. next year to save more money, especially this time of the year when everyone now, by, by the end of this year, a lot of Americans have gone through their savings just from not having a job and the holidays and everything else. So we're challenging you guys to get back on that horse because last time we looked at this, savings was kind of going up and now they're mm-hmm. not. So um, we're, we're trying, to, trying to change that trend as much as we can to grow that wealth in people's selves. So that's, that's yeah, I think it's one of the one of the best ways that people can save money is by liking and subscribing and then oh, yeah. using YBI 15, the, the, the promo code YBI 15 for Mishmash Adventures, because, yeah, we're still we're still doing things with them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, Gosh. go save money, um, live better. Walmart. Well, yeah. And like, let's wrap, wrap this up with the we got we got there's a stimulus package on the talks. Knows knows it's going to happen. Don't hold your breath for it. If it does come up, if you don't need the money instantly to pay back bills and debt, save it. Put it to the side. Wait for it. Keep it up. Save it. Day. Use. Use. Here's what I'm going to do with mine. Just to be frank with you. To be Everything completely 100% honest. honest. To be 100% honest with everybody that's on this channel. If we get a $2,000 check. If we get a $2,000 check. He buying shoes. <laughs> I will put... I will, I will, I will, uh, there's a donation of 10% that's going to happen. And then I'm going to buy a mystery box and I'm going to put, I'm going to buy a a $300 mystery box and the rest is going to the savings. But it's like, Hey, you know, I'm still going to live, you know, I'm still going to be a human about it, but I'm not behind on any of my bills though. If you behind on your bills, don't be like me. (laughs) Don't be like me. Make smart, make smart decisions. But you know, if you are being, if you want to be fiscally responsible, if you want to be um, financially savvy, you know, use one of these tools. Um, and if you're already doing that, fantastic. Use the, the money that you get from stimulus to just continue to build, buy yourself something nice. That's like maybe 10% of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a mystery box, <laughs> shoes and what have you. It'll be a fantastic time. Oh, maybe we'll do an unboxing or something. Who knows? But uh, also remind people straight we up, might. you know? Hit that like, subscribe. Um, also, let us know if we, if anyone will be down for the idea for any like a uh, live coachings or anything like that. Like that would be a cool thing for saving. Live stuff, know. man. Live yeah. stuff in 2021. We have a lot of stuff to come for 2021, but yeah. this is going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, we appreciate you guys as always. Um, y'all know what's up. We may be young and we may even be broke, but we are always investing till next time guys peace hey everybody thank you for listening to young broken investing we just want to let you know that these are the opinions of the host are not meant to be the basis of any security purchases or investments we're trying to give a little information out there for everybody and uh have fun and be safe